This is a video on how to write interval notation when you, ha when you have an inequality. If you're looking at this first example, I have x is greater than 2. Well, that would be an open circle on 2 shaded to the right. So this means that my answer, and this is infinity going forever that way, this means that my answer goes from 2 to infinity. Okay, come down to the next example. x is less than negative 1. Well, going this way forever gives me negative infinity. So my answer goes, if I write an interval for it, from negative infinity all the way to negative 1. Now, let's look. Let's look at this. We're going to talk about whether we put parentheses or whether we put a bracket. An open interval, meaning I have less than, I mean greater than or less than, or, you know, it'll have an open circle when, when we have that. We're going to use parentheses. If you ever see less than equal to or greater than equal to, and I keep saying these backwards, I'm sorry. If you see greater than equal to or less than equal to, you will use a bracket or you'll have a closed dot, it won't be open, and use a bracket. So now we're going to go back, and we're going to look at these first two examples we did, and we're going to put parentheses or bracket. Infinities always receive parentheses. So I'm going to have a parentheses here, I'm going to have a parentheses here. But because this does not have equal to, and it's an open circle, I'm going to have parentheses here. And this does not have equal to, so I'll have parentheses there. This is how you do... Um, Interval notation. All right, we're going to go to the next example. Now, a bounded interval means that there are, it stops. It's going to stop whether, it just stops at both ends. And when it stops, we call that a bounded interval. When it's unbounded, you have an arrow either on one side or both sides. So this one is bounded, this one is unbounded. All right, now, I want you to take a look at this example. Infinities are, in negative infinity, you'll have less than, less than, equal to, infinities greater than, greater than, equal to. If you want to, you can refer back to that first and second example. Now, we're going to write this as an inequality given the interval. So we have an interval of negative infinity to negative 3. And if you want to, you can draw, you can, you can draw it. So I've got negative 3, and it's a closed circle because it's got a bracket. And negative infinity implies I'm going this way. So if I'm going that way, that's to the left, that's going to be less than. And when I have a bracket, I put less than equal to. So x is less than or equal to negative 3. This one has a bracket, and it's going this way forever. So I'm starting at 4, and I just always just say, okay, I'm starting at 4 and just put the number I need. This one has a bracket, it's closed, now I'm going to infinity, so that one is greater than or equal to. Remember, infinity goes to the right, negative infinity goes to the left. Plus, you know, look, this is on the left, you go left. This is on the right, you go right. You can look at it like that, too. Because they're always going to put the small number first. All right, so now I have this interval from 3 to infinity. Now, there's no bracket, so it's not greater than equal to. It's just greater than. X is greater than 3. Now, we're going to write an interval that describes this graph. And this should have something here, something left off my notes. This one is going from negative 1 to 7, and it is a bounded interval because I don't have an infinity on each side. Now, I'm also not going to put brackets. I'm going to put parentheses because of the fact that this is an open circle. Again, all this lesson is doing is showing you how to write your intervals. This one is unbounded because I have an arrow on this end, and I'm going to put a bracket where I have the 2, and... This is an infinity over here, so 2 to infinity, and it's unbounded because I have an arrow. All right, that's all for today. Thank you.